Hello everyone, welcome back to the weekly video. As usual, let's look at the email. Okay, uh, UOB and Sengkong Industry on the 24th uh, August. Capital Court SIA 23rd August, UMS 22nd August, Wilma 21st August, and uh, Venture Hong Kong Land. That was uh, the uh, 17th and 24th August. Then this week, uh, we will talk about Gentin Rex and Aztec, SI Engineering, City Development, SI Engineering, and today, Shift Max. Okay, so uh, let's start off with uh, those not performing well, which is not performing one, which is um, Hong Kong Land and Venture. So Hong Kong Land was expecting uh, some breakout, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the Hong Kong side, they uh, come, came up with uh, some bad news on the property sector. So that's why the resistance at 3464 uh, did not manage to uh, break. The time when we highlighted it, uh, or last week when I highlighted it, I was expecting it to test uh, 364 and it did, but uh, it didn't manage to uh, break out. So now it's on the way down. So let's see whether it will come back and retest this 347 support. So if it doesn't test under shoot, under shoot means it doesn't come back to this support at 347 and go back. To 364 again, then there's a chance for it to be bullish again. This 364 major reason is a hard nut to crack. And if you can crack it again, you can see the box highlight here, 381. Then uh, we talk about uh, Venture. Venture was expecting a um, hammer rebound. Remember last week um, here, just a quick recap, the hammer rebound here. Um, but the rebound did not succeed as um, this uh, venture continued to scale lower um, due to the um, probably um, I heard from uh, someone that uh, this counter is being re uh, removed from the MSCI uh, Singapore index. So uh, probably they are on the clearing mode. Then until uh, 1st September when they finish clearing or rather today finish clearing then um, the stocks may have a chance to rebound. So the first uh, level for you to cross is uh, 1293, cross above 1293, right, in order to be uh, bullish. Then uh, we have uh, UMS, Wilma UMS. So Wilma first. So let's look at Wilma email highlighted that uh, this may be a bottoming signal with a clear trading um, plan. So uh, 362 entry, 372 uh, profit target, and 354. Uh, S stop loss, All right? Of course, uh, these are disclaimers, lah. Due diligence, uh, do your own uh, due diligence is needed. So you can see here after I highlighted there was a dividend uh, six cents. So everything got to shift down by six cents. So three three uh, seventy two uh target become a uh, three six six, and you can see uh Wilma today burst through three seventy five. Congrats to those who were invested in Wilma. So I have a few clients are uh, taken profit already. So uh, if you can continue higher, 381 will be the next target. Okay, so then uh, UMS. So the short-term price pattern, 120 target hit. And uh, in fact, UMS, uh, quite some time ago, I did highlight uh, it in, in, uh, in this, is this June? Right, let's see whether it is June. Uh, quite some time ago, I was, um, you know, uh, eyeing this counter uh, to uh, go to uh, this um, three, um, this uh, one, three, one, three, one level, okay? So why do I say that? Because um, I was, uh, I saw this, which I, I can uh, share with you is this, um, it was in my WhatsApp, which I uh, do this regularly with uh, my clients, um, discussion, daily discussion. And uh, yeah, you can see here, right, there's a huge study. This is 131, right? Unfortunately, it may not be as clear as I wish to. Okay, this is 131. For some reason, I cannot search in the email, but then I, I just want you to get the point now. Huh? So UMS... Um, so UMS here today, uh, very nicely traded at 125. So you can see I've already plotted here 131. And let's see whether you can continue higher to 131 target. Then Capricorn. 
Okay, watching for a uh, rebound over here. So um, there's a hammer pattern. So like I uh, say many videos ago or two videos ago, it doesn't have confirmation until right here, you have this confirmation, right? And uh, now currently it's consolidating. And this is a short term price pattern again, which is a pattern pattern. So if it uh, can uh, have another breakout, then uh, we are seeing a potential uh, hitting back uh, this uh, 704 or 705, which was the initial target as well. So let's see whether Capital Cup can go there. Then the, I have uh, UOB Seng Cup. So UOB, I mentioned bullish and Galvin pattern and uh, moving towards uh, 2875 uh, resistance. Let's see whether it hit there, really not. Okay, it's almost there. But uh, there's some pullback yesterday, so today there's some recovery. So let's see whether UOB can continue higher to what's this twenty eight seventy five resistance. Sankop uh was uh, targeting a rebound from this support at five twenty six. So let's see whether Sankop industry is doing well. So Sankop right now is above the support as I uh, highlighted in the email, and right now it's at five five three way above 526 support and let's see whether it can continue higher to 605. So the uptrend line remains intact as you can see plotted on the chart, this uptrend line. So everything seems to be still okay, steady. So let's say uh, Sanko industry can close at 557, then uh, there's a chance for it to continue higher next week. So tomorrow we are ha having holiday due to the uh, election. So um, let's hope that next week have a good week. And then we have Guntin and Rex. Um, which uh, we have a uh, hammer patterns over here and here. Okay. Unfortunately, one thing that you must know about trading is that um, hammer pattern needs a confirmation, like I mentioned on Kappa Corp, etc. So you see hammer, but if the next day doesn't have a confirmation, instead a black candle, we should avoid this hammer totally. Right, totally. So unfortunately, the counter after the hammer continue go down lower. Right, uh, this is very weird because the US uh, oil and gas counter was doing well, but then uh, Singapore one, uh, it has broken the 146 key support level and it's on the way down. And the next uh, key support level will be um, at one zero point one one six. So got to watch. Gentin for the same reason did not have confirmation for his hammer as well. So Gentin also have hammer. So I didn't explain much because you know, you, you see the hammer, but you need to see the follow through buying. If no follow through buying, no talk. Okay, so you can see Gunting also selling down. So this is not a good sign. And uh, yeah, for sure, Gunting uh, may go into a winter period before it can start to recover again. The result is good though. So uh, I think uh, the winter should be until next Chinese New Year, the next rally will come. Uh, then we have Aztec Global. Aztec Global in the email we highlighted a short term price pattern with a projected target 84. So Aztec Global. So we saw yesterday traded as high as 80, 82 and a half. Uh, a little bit short fall to 84. Today we see some uh, pullback again, but the volume is not high, which is good. Uh, so which means that the majority of the buyers are still in there and let's see whether it can uh, surpass 84 soon and uh, yeah, you can take a profit as well. Then uh, we have SIA Engineering highlighted to be a support level and uh, form the bullish uh, one white soldier candle pattern as highlighted in the email. And then uh, if the stocks can achieve beyond 235, two, uh, there might be a chance to go to 246 uh, resistance. So let's see SIA Engineering, where it goes. So SIA Engineering today performed quite well, uh, trading at 238, 239, well on the way to uh, 246 uh, resistance over here. Right, the uptrend lines is intact, as you can see, it rebounded nicely. So uh, congrats for those who have taken action. Then uh, we have ST Engineering and City Dev. So City Dev, uh, we saw resistance at 60. 673 and then uh, ST Engineering resistance at 386. So um, let's look at the city development first.
So city development resistant seems to be hard not to crack as you pull back after testing it. But um, there is still chance if we can uh, turn around on Monday to uh, break up from the resistance. Then uh, we can see the uh, bottoming action from uh, city development. ST engineering, um, so city development conclude. Uh, so 673 six, watch. If it breaks, then uh, okay. Then uh, we can see bottoming. ST engineering is to continue its uptrend. And you can see it breaks up from the 386 resistance now uh, trading back to 386 to test it as support again. So 391 will be the uh, immediate target and then followed by around 398 to $4. Okay, so let's see whether ST Engineering can hit these targets and then you can uh, safely take profit. Then we have safe mat today. So short and sweet today is result is good. Order book is strong, ceiling above support levels. Zone and then uh, a good close today uh, may suggest a potential rebound to 84. So safe mag. Safe mag, uh, we can uh, see the uh, counter now uh, slightly rebounding. Volume not high though. Uh, there's a dividend coming. Not wrong. Yes, uh, dividend coming here uh, is uh, caught. Let's zoom out. Large. So there's a dividend coming. Well, quite long, uh, 29 November. Uh. So uh, yeah, this one you can ignore. Uh, because 29 November is still far away. Maybe once it hit a force resistance, we can take profit already. Because all sharing is disclaimer, still supply. Like still need to do your own due diligence before you decide to trade or invest. Okay, so thank you for all the likes and I would like to uh, see you again next week. So uh, thanks for the support all along. Right, If you have a friend to recommend, uh, please feel free to do so. Thank you and I'll see you again. Goodbye.